Did you know? The Super Smash Bros. series is so detailed that many of its secrets go unnoticed in plain sight. Smash Bros. for the Wii U has a coin battle mode, which has a fair amount of detail in the design of its currency. The paper money includes the letters SMBR, which are the first letters of each Romanized Mura in the Japanese abbreviation of Smash Bros. Sumabura. The background features Nintendo's Kyoto headquarters, and below this is an autograph from Masahiro Sakurai. The man on the left is also believed to be Sakurai wearing a Mario-style hat, surrounded by what appears to be an emblem of Kirby's. Another hard-to-see secret is that the barrel cannon item in Melee has text on the bottom that reads 2L84ME. This is an abbreviation of Too Late For Me, possibly referring to the challenge of avoiding and escaping the barrel during a match. The same text even appears in a piece of official artwork for the original Donkey Kong Country. Some of the series' secrets can't even be seen in normal play. In Brawl, the Meta Ridley Trophy features a texture of a heart which is hidden behind metal plating. This is in fact a reference to the original Metroid Prime, where Meta Ridley's weak point was in his chest. Like in Smash, Meta Ridley's heart can only be seen via hacking the camera. Many of the series' secrets also span multiple games. Starting in Super Smash Bros. Melee, Ness's Yo-Yo has featured text referencing a Nintendo console. The Yo-Yo in Melee reads out Dolphin Loop and How Lab 2001, referencing Mother and and Smash Bros. developer, HAL Laboratory, Melee's release date, and the GameCube's codename, Dolphin. With Smash Bros. Brawl onward, the Yo-Yo reads out Mother and Super Nintendo, followed by the game's year of release. Smash Ultimate continues this tradition with the text being updated to Super Nintendo 2018. The Congo Jungle stage has a different spelling in every game it's appeared in. Congo in Smash 64, past stages Congo Jungle in Melee, and Congo Jungle 64 in Smash Wii. Wii U. In Smash 64, Congo Jungle is spelled with a C rather than a K. It may have been an error on the part of the English localizers, as the word Congo is used for two countries in Africa, as well as for landmarks such as the Congo River and Congo Rainforest. The jungle in Donkey Kong Country makes a pun of the Congo name by combining it with the Kong name. The Fountain of Dreams in Melee has an interesting secret in its visuals. The stage's water uses low-resolution models for the characters, similar to the ones used when a player goes off-screen. Due to this, characters do not blink or close their eyes in their reflections. Smash Ultimate's Great Plateau Tower stage features Sheikah text that, when translated, reads out Smash Bros, similar to how the Temple stage post-Brawl features Hylian text with the same message. In Smash 64, the Saffron City stage has a banner that reads Gotta Catch Em All, the slogan of the Pokemon franchise which was best associated with the original anime. The slogan also shows up in the Japanese version of the game, erroneously reading Got A catch -em all and the Sylph name was spelt as Sylph. With the stage's return in Ultimate, the name is now spelt Sylph, its original spelling from the Japanese Pokemon games, and the banner's error has also been fixed. The boxing ring stage in Smash 4 features a unique title for each fighter. Many of these are different for each of the game's translations, with some being adjusted to better fit their native audience, and many others making references to various media. The Japanese and English titles for Lucario and Mewtwo are Hero of the Aura and A Legend Reawakens, respectively, referencing Pokemon movies Lucario and the Mystery of Mew and Ginosect, The Legend Awakened. Mega Man's PAL title is his most well-known nickname, The Blue Bomber, whereas the North American version version used the Japanese title Blue Metal Hero, which was updated to Blue Bomber with the stage's inclusion in Ultimate. Diddy's North American title is The Acrobat, shortened from the original Japanese title Acrobat of the Southern Countries. His French title is Pirouettes et Cacouettes, meaning Pirouettes and Peanuts, a play on words on the famous French nursery rhyme Pirouette Cacouette. Ridley's North American title is Cunning God of Death, referencing his given title from the Japanese website for Metroid Zero Mission. Luigi's references the first Smash Bros where, after unlocking him, the notice refers to Luigi as the Eternal Understudy. Rob's is the last of his kind, referencing the events of Brawl's subspace emissary where Rob was the last Rob remaining. Video game developer Rare were credited in the first two Smash games for their contributions to Donkey Kong, but they were also responsible for the inclusion of several other items. Smash 64 featured the Motion Sensor Bomb, which took its design from GoldenEye 007's Proximity Mine. The name used in Smash is a literal translation of the original name. GoldenEye's Timed Mine was also planned for Melee, but went unused, either due to the two items looking too similar, or licensing issues with the James Bond name. The Proximity Mine from GoldenEye's Spiritual Success 
successor, Perfect Dark, appears in Melee along with the game's cloaking device. In Melee's international release, the mine takes on its golden eye look, however, and both items' trophy descriptions hide their game of origin, instead listing them as top secret. Early screenshots show the item's description made references to Perfect Dark's Carrington Institute, with the final release instead saying they were a favourite among spies and other stealthy operatives. In an interview with Nintendo Dream, Sakurai explained the reason for this change was because Perfect Dark was an M-rated game, so they weren't allowed to use its likeness outside Japan. Even so, the Perfect Dark name still appears in Melee's credits, and Carrington Institute is still referenced in the PAL version. According to Rare writer Lee Loveday, in a 2009 edition of the Rare blog Scribes, there were a multitude of trophies for Rare characters in Melee at one point, but due to the impending buyout, they were removed from the final game. After Rare's sale to Microsoft, the motion sensor bomb was redesigned to be a Smash original item for Brawl, whereas the cloaking device just disappeared. One rare element has remained unchanged, however. The Easter egg in Corneria, where Fox and Falco trigger narration from the Star Fox crew, features voice acting from Rareware staff, who would go on to reprise their roles in Rare's then-upcoming title, Star Fox Adventures. As Corneria returned in Brawl and Smash 4, the Easter egg and voices have returned as well. In Brawl and Smash 4, when Pit gets KO'd via self-destruct, he may utter out, I'm done for, or I'm finished, referencing the game over screen in the original Kid Icarus. In Ultimate, it's revealed when Pit gets star KO'd, he'll yell, I never learned how to read, in reference to one of Pit's lines from the English version of Kid Icarus Uprising, which Smash creator Masahiro Sakurai also directed. In early release footage for Melee, it was shown Captain Falcon's Blood Falcon-inspired costume had the words Hellhawk written on the back, being the Japanese name of Blood Falcon's vehicle. Nintendo themselves confirmed the name would be changed in its English equivalent, Bloodhawk, in the final release. On the Smash Ultimate website, one of Captain Falcon's screenshots showed the Hellhawk name once again, though again, this could be changed when the final game is released. The Hellhawk name did in fact show up in the PAL release of Smash Wii U, though this was likely just a mistake. When it came to Smash 4's release, North America saw the game a full week before PAL regions. Sakurai had hoped for a simultaneous release date, but one roadblock was having to record voices for all the Pokémon. In Europe, most Pokémon had a different voice in each country in the Pokémon anime, meaning they had to record for each one, which took longer than planned. The one notable exception is Pikachu, as in every language it retains its original name and voice. Similarly in English, Jigglypuff is the only character to have kept its original voice recycled across all four games. This is even true after its voice in the anime changed when dubbing was handled by the Pokemon Company come the release of Brawl. The European, French, and German voices for Jigglypuff shared its voices with the anime counterpart until Brawl's release. Did you also know that The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time was planned to be played in a first-person perspective? Or that the game started out as a remake of Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link? For more facts, check out the Digino Gaming video on Ocarina of Time. And if you like Nintendo games, check out Madness, where we try to find which is the best N64 game. In Shane's opinion, guys. Just in Shane's opinion. Promise.